So let's take a look at what you'll be able to see when a call is live and also when a call has ended. Now, currently I have a call waiting in queue and I'm in an away state. So let me set myself as ready. And there comes the incoming call. So this is what you will see on the right hand side of the screen, a little pop up with regards to a bit of call information, things like the caller ID, the caller ID name, the queue that the call came from, the approximate hold time of the call in that queue, and just a rolling duration time of how long the call has been proceeding for. Now, this little pop-up will show if you're using soft phones or if you're using mobile devices or other SIP devices as well. So let's just end this call. And you'll see now I'm presented with a wrap-up time. Now, a wrap-up time is essentially a cool-down period for your agent to finish whichever administrative tasks that they need to finish after they were done with the call. Now, when this cooldown timer reaches zero, then the agent will be put back into a ready state and further calls will then be presented to you. Now, this is configurable. So if you do need this option or you don't need this option, you can just enable it or disable it in the queue settings itself. Now, you also have the ability to configure a extend recovery timer. So if this wrap up time is not sufficient, you can allow agents to further extend this by a predetermined value. So once this timer reaches zero, like I mentioned, the agent will be put into a ready state. Or if this timer is a bit too long, the agent can set themselves as ready or away directly from this pop up. So I'll go ahead and set myself as ready. And you'll see in the top right corner, I am now ready and I'll be accepting new calls as they arrive in the queue.